In today's news for you, empowering children to make smart decisions for a lifetime when it comes to the foods they choose. Jan Pennington is a nutrition consultant and founder of Healthy Hands Cooking. Healthy Hands Cooking is a national program that is local here, but you actually founded the entire program throughout the nation. Why mm -hmm. did you see a need to do it? Well, I think it started in my own home. I just had a daughter that I realized couldn't have the, didn't have the kitchen skills that I had at her age. So I really wanted to do something about that and teach her a little bit more about how to work around the kitchen and how to make healthier choices. And you, you joked with me earlier saying that your daughter originally thought mashed potatoes came out of a box. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> certainly true. <laughs> and not from the, they actually came from the ground and make them that way. That's right. So the need then, you're seeing an, an, a venue working through the children to maybe teach the whole family? Absolutely. Children know what they like. And I think if we can empower them with having more choices with mealtime, I think that everybody will be happier. And it's amazing how many things kids really like once they try it. But give us some suggestions because you say right. make it fun. Right, for sure. One of the things I like to do is make fruit kebabs or veggie kebabs. And it's just taking a skewer and cutting pieces of fruit and vegetables into smaller pieces mm -hmm. and serving it as a side dish. Mm -hmm. And then you do not have brick and mortar no. because you put an emphasis on other things like fitness as well. So tell us some of the venues. Because I know you've worked out a Let's Cook on Assembly Street, isn't that on yes, Assembly? That's right. Downtown mm -hmm. Columbia, but mm -hmm. where else might we find you? Well, here locally at uh, Hampton Hill Athletic Club, mm -hmm. they offer a kid's teen, I think it's a teen fitness cooking camp. Mm -hmm. So they will actually have an hour of fitness for the kids and then two hours of cooking lessons. And you, your, your decision to do this is not only to teach children truly how to cook, but the obesity mm -hmm. rate is startling. And I know you're passionate about telling people don't go down that road. Right. I think it's really easy to fall into the trap of drive throughs fast foods, processed foods, packaged foods, when we really do have such a great variety of available produce from our local farmers. Mm -hmm. And we can make great tasting foods at home very simply, very easily, and kids can get involved right from the get-go. So if somebody's watching you right now and they think, well, I don't know how to do this for my kids or I want my kids to learn this, I've got your information on the Big Red Ten on our website, mm -hmm. but it would be anything from a camp to what? Do you offer classes then too? We do. We offer a variety of just a taste classes, which is really just, an, uh, just a sampling of what we do, but our real success is our eight-hour core program. And this is eight hours of teaching your child all the way from kitchen safety, cross-contamination, and getting comfortable in the kitchen to healthy snacks, healthy breakfast, healthy lunches, and then healthy dinners, things they can make themselves easily at home. Okay. And if we don't teach our children and kind of relearn everything ourselves, where do you see us going as a society? Well, the obesity rate seems to keep climbing. We now have um, over 30% children obese in the U.S., and that leads to a lot of other illnesses. So I think we really do have to empower our kids and our families to to sort of see things differently and get serious about this issue. Excellent. Well, I appreciate what you're doing. Healthy Hands Cooking, all the information is on our website under the Big Red 10. And if you'd like to see this interview again about Healthy Hands Cooking and Jan Pennington, follow me on Twitter at Dondi WISTV. Also click like on my Facebook page, Dondi Mercer Plank, WISTV. Uh, you'll find my daily interviews there and also links to get in touch with Jan. Jan, thank you so much for what you're thank doing. You. Appreciate thank it. You.